Good evening. Welcome to the Bulldog Brain Buster. I'm your host, Kane Hoover. Let's meet the contestants. First is senior Thor Phelps. He is active in Quiz Bowl and is a strong competitor. Next is senior Jasmine Harrison. Jasmine is also active in Quiz Bowl and is sure to dominate the competition. Next is senior Jace Jennings. Jace is active in racing and is sure to speed to the victory. The last contestant is senior Bobby Erickson. His favorite color is red. Here's how the game works. We have five categories, each of them with five questions. I will ask the question and the contestants will write down the correct answer. After that, they will show their answer and if they are correct, they will receive one point. Whoever has the most points in the end will win a gift card to Subway. Good luck to the players and let's get started. The first category is pop culture. Number one, Will I Am is a member of what band? A, the Backstreet Boys, B, the Black Eyed Peas, C, NSYNC, Oh, do I not just write the letter? No. We're just going to... I don't even know how you spell it. All right, you guys can show your answers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, the correct answer is B, the Black Eyed Peas, so... I gotta catch up to me and Jake. I see we're writing letters down now, yeah. too. So. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's okay. I almost did that, too. All right. Question number two. What is the best-selling video game? A, Minecraft. B, Wii Sports. C, Grand Theft Auto. Or D, Fortnite. Strong one here. Whatever. <laughs> I'm writing the words again. <laughs> All right, you guys can show your answers. Um, yep, you all got that right. Let's go. Good job. It's all right here. <laughs> okay. Question number three. Okay. This is a three-point question, so you can name three of the Kardashian slash Jenner sisters. No cheating. <laughs> Does spelling count? I no. totally misspelled one. Is that okay? That's fine. Okay. I know it's supposed to start with a K, <laughs> but uh. All right, you guys can show your answers. I don't know. All right, I think the only one who missed out was Thor. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I was trying to think of it. I just went first. Kylie, <laughs> Kylie Jenner. That, I can't believe I did that. I should have. I can't believe I didn't. Did I definitely All looked right, we're on to question answers. number four now. Um, what popular game show host recently oh. died due to cancer? Um, A. Alex Trebek. B. Drew Carey. C. Chuck Worley. Or D. Pat Sahak. I know what I game know show it is, it. but I don't know what oh, his name is. I know. I think I have Oh, uh, you got to keep those letters up, bro, so I'm not going to remember. <laughs> <laughs> no um, idea. So we just guess. I think mine's wrong. Um, what game show host recently died due to cancer? A. Alex Trebek, B. Drew Carey, C. Chuck Worley, or D. Pat Sahak? You guys all ready? Yeah. All right, you can show your answers. Um, it was A. Alex Trebek. Yeah. Ah. Okay, it's not it. okay. You should do better. I haven't been back for a while, so. Alex. <laughs> <laughs> all right, question number five Which musician sings Ice Ice Baby? A, Vanilla Ice, B, Kanye West, C, Ice T, or D, Billy Ray Cyrus? Billy Ray Cyrus is my favorite Cyrus. Yes. Are you guys all ready? Yes. All right, you can show your answers. He had a good mullet. Uh, yep, okay. it was A, Vanilla Let's Ice. Let's go. Good job, guys. Didn't he, like, steal that dun 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 from, like, Queen or something? Yes, I put down. That concludes our pop culture category. Now we will move on to more current events.
Bobby and Thor are currently tied with three points, and Jace and Jasmine are in the lead, tied with five. Question one. Who is Joe Biden's vice president? <laughs> I should know that. Oh, God. <laughs> I can't remember the name. Okay, I'm going to start it again. All right, you guys all ready? Okay, you can show your answers. Um, all right, I'll give that to Jason Thor is Kamala Harris. Oh, that's what it was. Oh, yeah, I totally would have. <laughs> I totally didn't remember that one. All right, on to question number two. What is the most endangered animal? A, elephants, B, tigers, C, rhinos, or D, snow leopards? Oh gosh. Oh gosh. This is one I got wrong. Honestly. All right, you guys can show your answers. Oh. Um, it was C Rhino. Oh my goodness! I like how I'm writing. Not in the lead anymore, Mister. Oh. Yeah, I know. All right. Question number three. The University of California voted to phase out what as a requirement for school. A, GPA, B, standardized testing, or C, fees? Oh, God. All right, you guys can show your answers. Um, it was B, standardized oh. testing. Oh, I just got some more brown. All right, on to question number four. How effective is the COVID-19 vaccine? A, 100%, B, 98%, C, 85%, or D, 95%? Oof. Which one? <laughs> There's two. <laughs> We're just going to go with a medium here. I better get this right. Okay. All right, you guys can show your answers. Um... It was B, 98%. Let's go. <laughs> the final question of the category, who is the new president? <laughs> oh, jeez, oh, I don't know. You guys should remember from earlier. <laughs> they were very... Thank you, I'm trying to spread positivity. Uh, <laughs> uh, you can show your answers. Joe Biden, all right. <laughs> Everyone got that one. The next category is sports. Due to some discourse over the COVID-19 success rate of the vaccine, we decided to give everyone a point. Um, so currently, Bobby's in last with six points, then Thor with seven, and tied for first is still Jason Jasmine with nine. Okay. Question one. What day of the week is the Super Bowl on? I'm just assuming it's the same as every football game. <laughs> All right, you guys can show your answers. Yep, it is Sunday. <laughs> Jace is getting Sunday, smart and hiding his answers. <laughs> All right. What is the only sport to be played on the moon? A, football, B, soccer, C, tennis, or D, golf? Okay. I'm just going to win here. I'm no thinking idea. here. I think it's that one. No idea. I'd like to think it's this one. All right, you guys can show your answers. Um, it was D, golf. Oh! That's golf. Good job. Even with the gravity, that's Yeah. Crazy. I was thinking, how would like, they like do golf, holes, gravity. but I still did it. It sounded the most fun. All right, question number three. What is it called when you walk with the basketball without dribbling? 
A, double dribble, B, traveling, or C, free throw. All right, you guys can show your answers. It is B, traveling. <laughs> that was a good I thought one. it was going to be much harder switch questions. I was going to talk about players and stuff. I would have cried. <laughs> All right, question number four. How long is an Olympic-sized swimming pool in meters? A, 50, B, 26, C, 30, or D, 65? Mm. Could not tell you. No idea. All right, you guys can show your answers. It is A, 50 meters. <laughs> 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 Nice. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Question number five. The Winter Olympics are held every year how many years? All right, you guys can show your answers. It is four. <laughs> Bobby, ten. Don't That's worry so about it. I didn't really know. Bobby. Know. <laughs> Definitely just guess the one. Okay. All right. Moving on, the next category is history. Let's take a look at the updated scores. So we have Bobby with 10 points, Thor with 11, Jace is at 12, and Jasmine's in the lead with 14. Moving on, the next category is history. A question one, when was the Declaration of Independence signed? A, 1776, B, 1773, C, 1770, or D, 1778? Something just feels right about this one. All right, you can show your answers. It is a 1776. It just makes sense to me. It just sounded right. What? It's all downhill from here. All right. <laughs> Question number two. What was the first capital of the United States? A, Washington, D.C., B, New York City, C, Philadelphia, oh, or D, Baltimore? Oh gosh, no idea. All right, you guys can show your answers. Um, it was B, New York City. Yeah. Shoot. I was between both. All right, question number three. Who was the first man on the moon? A, Michael Collins, B, Buzz Aldrin, C, Neil Armstrong, or D, Charles Conrad? All right, you guys can show your answers. It was C, Neil Armstrong. Let's go. All right, question number four. Where did they dump tea where did the colonists dump tea into the harbor? A. Charleston, B. Boston, C. New York, or D. Baltimore? All right, you guys can show your answers. It was B. Boston, Let's the Boston Tea Party. All right, moving on to our final question. Which invention was the first to be patented? A, chewing gum, B, the light bulb, C, cash register, or D, rubber band? I just try not to overthink it, I don't yeah. know. All right, you guys can show your answer. It was D, rubber band. Oh, oh wow. Dang it. Total guess. I know I do. <laughs> Did we all do different orders? I think so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. The next category is movies.
before the next category, let's take another look at the score. Um, so in last place, we have Bobby with 13. Next up is Jace with 15. And then Thor, who has moved up, is at 16 points. And Jasmine is still in the lead with 17. Oh, wow. The That's next really category cool. is movies. Uh, question one. What popular movies? Fr what popular movie from the 90s stars Alicia Silverstone as Cher? A. Clueless. B. Mean Girls. Or C. Thirteen Going on Thirty. I don't know. Mm. I have no idea. All right, you guys can show your answer. Um, it was A. Clueless. Dang it. I knew it was one of those two. All right. Question number two. What was the first Disney movie ever made? A. Pinocchio. B. Fun and Fancy Free. C. Fantasia. Or D. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Um. Oh, gosh. <laughs> we'll just go with this one. Actually, no. All right, you guys can show your answers. Um, it was D. I almost went with A, but then I was like, hold on a minute. I just learned that in cinema yesterday, so thank you. There must have been idea. I forget. All right. Question number three. Where did Kevin's family travel to in Home Alone? A, New York, B, Paris, C, London, or D, Los Angeles? Which one? Oh, yeah, I can, movie. um, first. All right, you guys can show your answers. It was B, I Paris. Yeah, I thought the second one was Florida. Do they ever go to Florida? I don't know. <laughs> All right, question number four. What flavor of Pop-Tart does Buddy the Elf use in his spaghetti in Elf? A, chocolate, B, peppermint, C, s'mores, or D, cherry? I have no idea. Uh, All right, you guys can show your answers. Um, it was A, chocolate. <laughs> chocolate wasn't even around back then. Score check. <laughs> what do you, what Can I call a score check? No, I'm just kidding. Are we tired? Are we tired? Are we tired? It's not looking so That's hot. That's dumb. Question number five. In Risky Business, what song did Tom Cruise famously lip sync to in his underwear? A. Old Time Rock and Roll, B. Thunderstruck, or C. I Love You Baby? All right, you guys can show your answers. It was A. <laughs> yeah, that's, great. that's a good song to listen sing to. If you want any recommendations, that's the one. That's okay, the last one was 8.1. Get a little air guitar action in there. All right, moving on, the next and final category is songs. For our next category, we're going to take a look at the score again. Um, and first we have Thor now with 20 points. Following him is Jasmine with 19. And then Jace with 17. And finally Bobby with 15. Yikes. Um, <laughs> the next and final category is songs. Question one. What is Ariana Grande's most popular song? A. Thank you next. B. One last time. C. Bang bang. Or D. Seven rings. Huh. It's hard. I know. And... All right, you guys can show your answers. Um, it was B. Nobody got that oh. one. One last time. That's such an old one. Oh. Yeah. All right. I don't even think Bang Bang is her song. Yeah. She's in it. She's featured. Question number two. What popular band started their career on X Factor? A, One Direction, B, The Backstreet Boys, C, Five Seconds of Summer, or D, BTS? Easy money. You know it. Yes, <laughs> oh, it's so easy. That's a good one. 
All right, you guys can show your answers. Oh, um, it was a okay. One Direction, so everyone got that. that. Was that Big Time Rush? Oh, oh. What? That's not on there. They were not no, expected. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, question number three. What song sparked the Mannequin Challenge? A, Fancy by Iggy Azalea. B, God's Plan by Drake. C, Firework by Katy Perry. Or D, Black Beatles by Ray. <laughs> I don't Where know. Where should okay. I go with the, uh... You're waiting for me to write an answer, aren't you? Mm-hmm. I sure am. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll write when she's done, because I know. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, no cheating. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 she just copied me. All right, you guys can show your answers. It's probably not even um, right. It was D, Black B, though. Okay. Come on. I didn't know that one, so... That's funny. I forget just want to point that out. Okay. Yeah, exactly. That's why they're going to win. All right. Great. Question number four. Okay, I'm going to copy this time. I just... Where is Kanye West from? A, New York. B, Chicago. C, Orlando. Or D, Los Angeles. Mm. <laughs> Are you, you guys all ready? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, you can show your answers. Um, it is B, Chicago. I didn't copy yeah, you that yeah. time. I just knew that one. Big brain. I didn't copy <laughs> off you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. All right. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Our last question for this category. Um, finish the lyric from the popular song, Take Me Home, Country Roads, by John Denver. Country Roads, Take Me Home, to the blank. <laughs> oh, we just have to write it. Mm-hmm. Uh, Fill in the lyric. What does it say there? Can we get somebody to sing that, please? Yes. Can I get that in a song, please? <laughs> <laughs> okay. You can sing it. Yes, you should. How much farther do you want? Um, you only need three words. Okay. Oh, oh, hold on. <laughs> Well, hey, hold on. 10, so. <laughs> uh, there you go. All right. Wait, wait. Uh, we'll wait a okay. second. Okay, you guys Stay can good. show your answers. It is place I belong. So you all got that right. West Virginia. West Virginia. West Virginia. Oh, okay. Before we get to our final question, we're going to do a quick checkup on the score. Um, in last place, we have Bobby with 17. Yes. After him, we have Jace at 21 points. Then we have Thor with 22. And in the lead, Jasmine with 23. Ooh. All right, this final question is worth up to eight points. Name as many teams as you can from our North Central Conference. This is the conference Algona participates in. Can we use Algona? Yeah, go to mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I guess I should have read it. Yeah, I pee in here. I'm not going to. Oh my gosh. All right, 20 more seconds, and no. then you guys are done. <laughs> um, I don't know what else we can do. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, well, I've got seven. That's good oh enough. No. <laughs> I don't know if these seven are even right. Oh, I don't mind on her, but it's going to be fun, so. It's dumb. Whatever. Oh, <laughs> Five seconds uh, left. I don't know. Uh, where? I just. Yeah. It's less than That's a, I don't know. Is it a place? All right, you guys stop writing. Dang We're going to flip over our answers. Sure. <laughs> All right, <laughs> and um, I'm going to have our guests tally their answers. So I'm going to read the correct ones, and then you guys just mark how many you got right. All right, starting with Algona, and then Clarion, Clear Lake, Hampton, mm. Humboldt, Iowa Falls, Webster City, and finally uh, Fort Dodge, which Thor had, so we adjusted the scores. Um, taking a look at our final scores, we have in last place, Bobby with 21, and second to last, Jace with 25. <laughs> 
And for the first time ever in our Brain Buster history, we have a tie between Thor and Jasmine with 28 points. Uh, because of that, we will have one last tiebreaker question. And the question is, what is the best-selling book of all time? The multiple choice answers are A, The Lord of the Rings, B, The Little Prince, C, A Tale of Two Cities, D, Don Quixote, or E, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. <laughs> You're going to have to reread that. A. <laughs> All right, I'll just read what they are. Um, the Tale of Two Cities, The Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, The Little Prince, or Don Quixote. 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 No idea. Oh, wait, were they left? Okay, I didn't know what the letters were. Sorry, I, I wrote it. All right, you guys can show your answers. Um, it was neither of those. <laughs> All right, our final tiebreaker question is, how many feet are in a football field? And whoever's closest to the real answer will be the winner. Actually, yeah, I'll just go for it. I have no idea. All right, you guys can show your answers. Um, it was 300 feet, so oh, Thor is wow. the closest. Oh, wow. Sweet. Congratulations, oh, Thor. Wow. Wow. Good job. <laughs> Thanks, Carly. <laughs> Congratulations. Um, yeah. Thor wins a $20 gift card to Subway. Yeah.